Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let's get this started. My name is Becca and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about all things houseplants. And today I have some news for you. I did something that kind of propels me into the next step of plant parenthood. A step that many of you might have already taken and I have been putting off for a long time. I purchased a humidifier and not just any humidifier, a really nice humidifier that a lot of plant people swear by. It was a little bit expensive, but I think that it will definitely be worth the investment. I just turned on this new humidifier and it is so cool because it tells me what the humidity level in my house is or in the room currently. And then I can set it kind of like air conditioning. You can set it to what you want it to be. And then once it reaches that, it'll turn off. So it's very high tech. It's not something that runs constantly because I did buy a humidifier that was like a medical humidifier and it would just like run constantly. And one day I walked into the room that I put it in and it was probably like 99% humidity, which is like way too high. So definitely this is a really great thing. So I currently have it set to 75% humidity and it is in my tiny bathroom. We spent some time in here last week in that video. So if you haven't seen that video where I put up this shelf, go check it out because I thought it was a fun one. Let me show you my old humidifier. Here she is in all of her non-glory. So this is a new humidifier that I got. It is a Lavoite humidifier and a lot of plant people use this hum humidifier and have recommended it to me. So I figured that I would try it out and it's just turned on actually, which is perfect timing. So pretty much it is a beast as far as humidity goes. There is a lot that it does. It has a timer. It has an auto setting, which I haven't set on auto. As you saw, it just like turned on right now. Pretty much I said earlier, it works like an air conditioner. So once the humidity goes down to a certain number, it will turn on until it gets back up to the number that you set it at. So it's currently at 66 humidity and then I set it to 75% humidity. It's been a really big struggle keeping it above 75% humidity unless we have just taken a shower. It'll go up to like 90% humidity in that case, but it drops so fast just because it's so dry here. Um, you can choose if you want warm mist, which takes up more water, so I don't have it on warm mist. And then mist level, I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to mess with it just yet. The water tank is six liters, so I think that's one and a half gallons, and I've just been using tap water so far, and I haven't noticed any like weird deposits around at all, which happened with my old humidifier. Um, I'm sure that there will be some sort of deposits, and I'll need to like clean out the inside. I mean, you have to do that even if you use distilled water, but I'm just trying out tap water for now to see how it works, and I have it just sitting here where that plant used to be. So I think I might leave it here or I might put it in my filming space, my office. We will see. But um, it quickly, it gets the humidity level up pretty quickly. So just in this two minutes I've been filming, it already stopped because it's back up to 75%. So we just keep the door shut like all of the time now just to hold everything in here. And I haven't noticed any weird situations going on. So I will definitely let you guys know if something weird goes on with it or I notice anything changing. It has these two little direction things so you can choose what direction you want the mist to go in. I kind of have them like just kind of in this general direction so it's not shooting directly onto a plant but the plants can still experience the benefits of humidity. So that is the situation with this guy. It also has a little remote which is handy I guess. I haven't used it but it's kind of fun, maybe in the future if I have it somewhere else. The reason that I'm trying out this humidifier is because I won an Instagram giveaway with a really, really beautiful anthurium and I just really need to set up my plants well for humidity because this anthurium is okay not having a ton of humidity. It kind of functions more like a Monstera, but others are not like that. And if I want to start getting more into anthuriums, I need to have the proper conditions for them. So I did make the plunge and buy this humidifier and I don't regret it so far so we will see how things go and we'll see how happy 
my anthuriums are. All right, so I'm sitting down to unbox this plant and I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna scratch out my address right here just in case. These boxes are so hard to open. They're also very interesting to pack. If you've ever packed one of these triangle boxes, it's an interesting experience to say the least. Finally, it's open. Wow. Okay, so here is the plant. I will insert the name of it on the screen. This is so beautiful. It feels really velvety and soft. Wow, and it's putting out a new leaf. Right here, you can see that. This is so beautiful. I love it. It's so soft and velvety, oh my gosh. Wow. Come touch it. Okay. You're just creeping over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I might as well unbox this plant since we're already here. Leo, come on, you gotta give me some space for a minute. Leo has been attached at my hip literally all day. He spends the entire day jumping on me, laying on me. He just spends the whole day with me. And then when Daniel comes home, he's all about Daniel for like five minutes and then it's right back to me, so. It's a sweet feeling for sure, but sometimes I wanna like do things without the dog jumping in my lap. <laughs> All right, lots of paper. Where is the plant? Oh, this box is from Logies. I'm not sure if I have mentioned that before. This is my first time ordering from Logies, but I have always heard really awesome things about them. What are you doing? What did you take? Ew, Leo. Oh, there's the plant. Okay, so it is very well packaged, I will say. Lots of um, like tissue paper stuff, and I will be reusing all of that later on. Oh, we have some turtles dropping. Oh, this is pretty small. It is cute, but it is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Look at that. Okay, well. That is a string of turtles. I don't know what I was expecting, but I think with Logies, they have the photo of the plant at like a really big size on their website, and that's not the plant that you're gonna get. And I only realized that right now. Someone said that to me before and I was like, nah. But I think that is true because the plant on the website did not look like this. All right, so my beautiful new plant is in its new home next to my other anthurium, and I'm just so excited to see how it does. I haven't repotted it yet. I just stuck it in this little terracotta. It does need to be repotted. I probably will use this pot for it when I do repot, but I just haven't done it yet. I literally just unboxed it, but I wanted to give you guys a better look because these leaves are so beautiful. So look at how cute. I love this curved top, that's so cool. And I cannot wait to see this new leaf come out. I'm really interested to see what that will look like. Now, I just need to find a spot suitable for this one. It's huge, but I do have an idea of where I want it to go. So I will definitely keep you guys updated. I have some plans for my little office filming room to have more plant shelves and just plant opportunities in it. So, um, sorry, focus was off there. But anyway, I will let you guys in on those updates when I have them. And until next time, you guys, thank you so much for watching me unbox and talk about my new humidifier. It is doing super well so far. So I will link it down below if you're interested in checking it out. I would highly recommend it and it's only been a few hours. So I will keep you updated on what I think of it as time goes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Nope, don't eat that. Oh, you can't eat that. Leo just tried to run off with some sphagnum moss.